Good morning, Hayes. I hope that you are all keeping well and you are all safe. And it is my prayer that the Lord will keep you safe and well always. I guess I'm not the only adult who enjoy children's stories. Do you enjoy? Do you remember the story of Alice in Wonderland? In the story, Alice reaches the crossroads and doesn't know where to go. So she turns to Cheshire Cat and asks the cat, do you know where to go? Or do you know the way? Something like that, she asked. And in return, Cat asked a question of Alice. Do you know where you're going? Alice's answer was, well, I don't know. And in reply, Cat said, then it doesn't matter which road you take. True, isn't it? That when we don't know the way, when we don't know what we are looking for, it is so easy to lose the way. In Church of England, every Sunday, there are three, four different readings and the preacher or the speaker is free to choose and speak from one or from all. One of the reading this Sunday comes from the Acts of the Apostles. And by the way, Acts of the Apostles is the record of the earliest church. Our reading today comes from chapter 17, where we meet Paul, a great, great visiting preacher of Christian faith. He is in a city, great city of Athens. There he is waiting for his companions that they join him and they may continue their uh, missionary journey or call it the preaching journey. And as any person that he got excited when on, all on his own in the city and he thought he will look around in the city city which had so many temples dedicated to all sort of different gods. But he was astonished to notice that there was one altar which was dedicated to unknown God. We are, I guess, familiar with the terms of the unknown soldiers, but unknown God? Can you believe unknown God's church? Well, it may sound a bit funny, but the reality is that since the primitive times, some people have worshipped something not knowing what it is. You can call that unknown God. Whereas others have unknowingly worshipped one true God who created everything. I hope I have heard correct that during the coronavirus crisis, many people have been turning to God for answers. And I do hear even praying, which sounds absolutely wonderful to me. Are you one of those people? who is looking or searching for answers, or perhaps you are still in search of a God. If that is the case, this Sunday I want to tell you that you perhaps know him or you perhaps don't know him, but he has known you always. You know that the Bible says that when our frames were being formed in our mother's wombs, he knew us then. When in that secret place, our 
formed frames were he knew us and there actually he knew the days of the length we are to spend on this earth i also want you to know that this god i am talking about he has been searching for you all these years in the person of jesus christ he has been searching for you because there are a few things he wanted you to know and the first thing he wants you to know that he loves you maybe you want to say love me and how much if that comes to your mind my friend next time if you go to some church and you see a cross and on that cross there is a figure hanging stand there and ask how much god loves me and then look at that cross and look those arms spread out god is saying in christ this much i love you and i also believe that god wants you to know today that he is not unaware of all that you are going through perhaps once again you want to say that how come that he knows or he is unaware of what i am going through does he not see the misery all the time is surrounding us of this covid 19 does he see that I am all the time gripped with this fear of the loss of my job, my business, or perhaps even a loved one. May I say to you that the Lord says, if that is the case, then hand over your broken pieces to me and see what I can do for you. I love stories. And to make my point, I want you to tell, tell you the story which perhaps you have heard. It is a myth about that how the silk was found. There are two, three different uh, kind of uh, legends about it with a small, a small a differentiations. The one I like goes this way, that a Chinese emperor, he was very worried because he had a problem on his hands. His mulberry trees were being destroyed by something. And like a good man, he handed the problem over to his wife, the Empress Si Ling Shi. She looked at the mulber uh, mulberry trees and she noticed a moth laying eggs on the mulberry leaves eggs that of course hashed into caterpillars after a few days each caterpillar spun a thread that it wrapped itself in forming a cocoon one day the story goes the empress was sitting under the tree with her hot drink and one cocoon dropped in that hot water slowly the delicate and beautiful thread began to unwind she measured it and it was half mile she thought about it and she thought why this thread can't be woven into cloth and so from that terrible misery that the tree leaves did face the beautiful silk came who knows what is on the other side of the coronavirus my friend i do not know what the future holds but one thing i do know that god has got good plans for all of us on the other side of the coronavirus you may not know the way I may not know the way, 
but why not to give our hand in the one in the hand of that who knows what is on the other side of the Karana. And let us, when that wonderful things he revealed to us, when we are on the other side, open those tremendous doors for us. Still remember that he knows us and we may come to know him. Stay blessed. Stay safe.